Do you want to set your child up for success? Is your child struggling with a specific subject or need help with homework? IXL Learning is an online learning program for kids. It covers math, language arts, science, and social studies. IXL is designed to help children really understand and master topics in a fun way with positive feedback. I mean, when Eleanor was young, she really, really struggled with math, and a program like IXL would have really helped her to get ahead, to keep up, study for a test. It's a great tool. Don't miss out. One in four students in the U.S. are learning with IXL. IXL is used in 95 of the top 100 school districts in the U.S. Make an impact on your child's learning. Get IXL now. And happier listeners get an exclusive 20% off IXL membership when they sign up today at IXL.com happier. Visit IXL.com happier to get the most effective learning program out there at the best price. Hello, we are here for More Happier, a podcast where we get more happier. Join us for some weekend listening with a little bit of a looser vibe. Hey, Elizabeth. Hi, Grudge. Today we'll talk about Elizabeth's experience with Orange Theory and my experience with the eclipse. And first, Elizabeth, something making us more happier. What is making you more happier? Yes. Well, Gretz, you just mentioned Orange Theory. I finally went. So let me remind you of the background of this, which is that I put on my 24 for 24 list that I was going to do Orange Theory 50 times. That is Orange Theory is a fitness class Okay, okay, that I had never done before, I should mention, (laughs) uh, when I made this decision. I did say if I like it. If I don't like it, I'll pick something else. And uh, it's now uh, April, and I still had not done an Orange Theory class. So I was sort of grappling with myself like, okay, I either have to take this off my Mm. list or I need to do it. Because if you were going to do it, you needed to get going on your... Yes, yes. Can I just say, by the way, I had never heard of it until you mentioned it. And now, of course, I see mentions of it all the time. It's how yes, that is. It's very popular. Yeah. And by the way, one of the reasons I even got inspired to do Orange Theory is that Teddy Mellencamp, who is a former Real Housewife of Beverly Hills and has a podcast that I love about the housewives, she does Orange Theory at the place where I'm going. Ooh. So hopefully I'll have a Teddy Mellencamp site. Okay, but describe it. What's the nature of it? So Orange Theory, it's a class where you do a combination of treadmill, rowing machine, and hand weights. Oh, okay. Essentially. So it's a class. It's a class. Okay. It's a 60-minute class. There's pumping music. Mm. And it's very engaging because you're constantly, you know, you're walking, you're running, you're rowing, you're mm. doing this exercise, that exercise. And I really loved it. I will say that I came out sort of feeling like I'd been in a casino. <laughs> like I was yeah. like, wait, did an hour right, pass? Yeah. Did 10 hours right. pass? What is, is happening nighttime? here? <laughs> yes. No, I went in the middle of the day on a Saturday and I came out fully expecting it to be <laughs> dark. And then I go, oh, it's one fifteen. Okay. But it just felt so good. And I talked about this on Happier in Hollywood. It felt so good just to do something that I said yeah. I was going yeah. to do. Yeah. Gretchen, I've been reading about how we all do need more yeah, cardio. I need more cardio. So I got this idea yeah. of adding more cardio. So, wow, it's a new thing. So I did, at the end of the class, decide I'm recommitting to my 50 Orange Theory classes. So I basically need to try to go twice a week. Wow. And I downloaded the app, and I did sign up for my next two classes so that... I won't just be like, well, that was great. I'm never doing that again. Right, like me and cryotherapy. Is it the kind of thing where you have to concentrate so hard on what you're doing that you sort of don't notice how much you wish you weren't doing it kind of thing? Or like how strenuous it is because it's just so absorbing to just follow the directions? Oh, I do like that. I do like that about classes, yeah. Yes, and uh, two other things I like about it. One, it really is for you where you are at fitness-wise because you ultimately are in control of how fast the treadmill is going, Mm -hmm. how hard you're pulling on the rowing machine. 
And then also, Gretchen, in fact, you should see a class because it is the ultimate obliger Mm -hmm. situation. One, you have to sign up for the class, and they do often fill up. So you really kind of do need to sign up. And then during the class, someone is telling you what to do every second. So you're answering to the coach basically minute by minute. Uh, Not only that, but your heart rate is on a screen where you can see it. Oh, so you can't shirk. So you are actually, yes, you are seeing if you are in the gray zone or the green zone and you want to be in the orange zone for a certain amount of time. Is that orange theory? And that's why it's called orange theory. So it's an obliger's heaven because there's a lot of accountability. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm impressed that you did it. And it's fun to do something new. It's fun to keep your promise to yourself. It's fun to try something new. I'm sure it's a a great workout if it's all new things. I was very sweaty afterward and my uh, very sore. Um, That was gratifying. Yeah. So I'll report back to you on how I do. I'm hoping by talking about it a lot on the podcast that that's another encourages me on the record to yes, be on the record and to follow through now. But you know, the first one is so hard when it's something you haven't done. Yeah. Because it's just daunting. And the second one is daunting as well, but it's slightly less daunting. So do you think if a person feels self-conscious, is this like everybody's so in their own world? Because I think sometimes people don't like classes because they feel self-conscious. Like everybody's doing something and there's a big mirror. And and like if you're out of step or whatever, or you can't do what everybody else is doing, you feel like you stick out. Is this the kind of thing where it's just like everybody's just so focused on themselves yes. that it's good for people who might feel self-conscious? Yes, absolutely. I feel like everyone is very much in their own world. Even though everybody's you know heart rate is up on the screen, right. nonetheless, right. you're just focused on yourself. Right. Sarah asked me, how many people were in the class? And I said, I don't even know. <laughs> I was so <laughs> focused on me. So I'm sure that'll get Less so as I do it more, yeah. but nonetheless, you're really worried about yourself. I mean, one thing I don't like things that are rackety, like the idea that it's loud. I'm sure everybody's they're just their exercise is loud, and then there's all the music to me. I'm like, oh gosh, that's one thing that I don't know, not appealing. That might not be appealing to me. Well, it, I mean, there's all this research showing that music helps people like move in rhythm and keep their energy up and not feel as tired. And I mean, that's why they do it because it works so well. So yes. there's good reason for it. Well, well done. We just passed the hundredth day of the year recently, yes. and you are you're on track. Well, I, you started. I if I if I do it if I do it I'll be on track. Okay. All right, Gretch. What about you? What's making you more happier? Okay, so you know I'm doing these prompts from Paper Source because it's National Letter Writing and Card Writing Month. And I am finding it so fun. It's just, you know, I love ideas of everyday creativity. And so this has been really fun. I sent you your haiku. Yes, I got my haiku. I love it. I put it on the wall near my computer so I can see it all the time. Which, and I never just send you mail. No, it was so exciting. Now, I wasn't surprised since I knew you were sending. Yeah, yeah, I knew don't. you were going to be sending letters. Yes. I wasn't as surprised okay. as I would have yes. been at another Try, time. At another time. You weren't uh, astonished. But I was thrilled with my haiku. But here's something. Okay, so you know that I do have a kind of embarrassingly large sticker collection because for some reason I just love, love, love stickers. And by the way, there has been a, an explosion in like super cool stickers, like adult stickers. But like, what does one do with one stickers? This is the thing. It's like, how do you put them to use? Because otherwise you just have this big stack of stickers and books. But so I've been creating my own postcards because I just take a card and put sticker, you know, whatever themed stickers make sense to somebody and then use the other side for a message and to send a postcard. I find that really fun. Like just, oh, I'll go through all my sticker books and see if I find a good image of a grandfather clock or, you know, or spell out Mm -hmm. a name and letter stickers. Anyway, so that's been super fun. Well, and Gretchen, what I love about that is it is spending out because I think stickers are the kind of thing that can be hard if you're someone who hoards and saves. Yes. It can be hard to use a sticker, but ultimately that's the satisfaction is in using it. So I'm proud of you for spending out on your stickers. Okay, but here's the embarrassing thing. You know when you do something and you're like, what am I doing? I'm a mystery to myself. Like, what is going on inside my brain? So one of my favorite books of stickers is the John Darian. I'll put a link. It's the John Darian sticker book. It's so beautiful. So I got it. And I was like, this sticker book is so beautiful. I can't use it. 
because I have to keep all the stickers. And then I'm like, that doesn't make any mm. sense. What is the point of a sticker yeah. book if you don't use the stickers? So then I bought another identical sticker uh-huh. book. Now I can use my oh stickers my because I know that I have. Now, why did I not store it at the store? There's literally a John Darian store in New York City, right. not to mention online. Right. I should have waited until he needed it, but I'm like, I know that I just will not be able to spend out. I will not be able to use stickers from the yes. sticker book unless I know that I own a backup, which just makes no sense. That's funny. Anyway, I've partnered with Paper Source, as I said, for Write 24 and 24. April is National Card and Letter Writing Month. And, you know, Paper Source is a place. If you love handcrafted paper from around the world, if you like design, if you like sort of exclusive stationary supplies, if you want to get inspired, you can get anything you want for your letter writing. The stationery, the custom address stamps, how to make your own stationery. They've got all kinds of ideas, which are all very manageable. You do not have to be like top level right. to do these things on their National Card and Letter Writing Month feature page and on social. If you go by one of their stores, you can look. I went by the one, there's one like four blocks from my house, so I went in just to see what they have. So fun. There's a free envelope decorating activity in April. So all of this you can find at papersource.com. You can get a 10% discount at papersource.com in April. Mm. And if you want the daily letter writing prompts, you can get those at happiercast.com slash papersource. It's so much fun thinking of those and now executing on those. Mm, It's really a great way to have everyday creativity that, you know, the average person can do without spending a lot of time, energy, or money. My favorite thing. Plus, we all love an excuse to buy any sort of stationery. Yes, and everybody likes to get something fun in the mail. It's like win-win. All right, Gretch, coming up, there's something you've been meaning to tell me about a new place in Kansas City, but first, this break. We all know that our life and our health can be improved when we eat nourishing, healthy meals, but it can be hard to maintain. With Sunbasket Meal Kits, it's easy because they take care of the details. Sunbasket offers 18 chef-crafted, dietitian approved recipes each week with options like Mediterranean, carb-conscious, vegetarian, and keto-friendly. The recipes are quick and easy to follow, and you can enjoy a meal full of organic produce and clean ingredients that's ready in 30 minutes or less. Try mouth-watering Sun Basket dishes like salmon burgers with lemon dill mayo and seared squash or steaks with chimichurri and harissa roasted sweet potatoes. My son Jack loves salmon and he loves yes. the Sun Basket salmon burgers. Go to sunbasket.com forward slash happier today to get $45 off your first order. That's sunbasket.com forward slash happier to get $45 off your first box plus free shipping. Okay, Gretch, we're back and there is something that you've been meaning to tell me. It's about my favorite subject, Kansas City. Yes. Okay. So, so many listeners and readers sent me a link to make sure that I knew about this new museum that's opening in Kansas City. It's called the Rabbit Hole. There was a big article about it in the New York Times called A World Where Picture Books Come to Life. And that is exactly what this place is. It was once a tin can factory, and now it has 40 book-themed dioramas that are life-sized. Oh, wow. In this huge space, you can walk through it. It looks amazing. And here's the thing, Elizabeth. We were just in Kansas City. I had, like, written it on my calendar. I had talked to mom and dad about it. I was like, we've got to go. Our father went. He drove by to just, like, see where it was. It was like he loves to just explore Kansas City. And I was all set to go, but then— they were closed. The days that we were there and I had my speaking, so we couldn't do it. So anyway, yes. it worked out that, so there I was in Kansas City. It had just opened. There was this big article and yet I could not go. Very, very frustrating. But I'm so excited the next time I'm in Kansas City to do it. We should all do it. It'll be a great oh, yes. thing to do when we're all there. And, you know, I love children's literature, but I also do love picture books This is like such a celebration of picture books. The people who started it are former bookstore owners, and they're also long-married artists, Pete Cowden and Deb Petted. I think it's by the old airport, you know, that area? Yes. But I am just so enchanted by this. We live within walking distance of the Toy Miniature Museum. I'm like, what is happening in Kansas City? It's like developing museums specifically for my idiosyncratic interests. It's bonkers. Gretch, I think you're you're getting my power of manifestation. You're manifesting Kansas City to be this children's literature 
place. I mean, it's there it is. I'll take it. So anyway, I can't wait to go. I feel like we'll yes. go every time we're in Kansas City. We'll have to do a video when we go. Yes, it sounds very, very exciting. Excellent. The rabbit hole for anybody visiting Kansas City. Check it out. Check it out. Winstead's in the rabbit hole. It's yes. the perfect afternoon. And now for a spotlight on a tool. I mentioned the paper source challenge. You can also do that on the Happier app if you're using the Happier app. There's an additional way to get the National Card and Letter Writing Challenge. You can find it on the home screen, and you can get the daily prompts for card and letter writing through April. You can also sign up by email by going to happiercast.com slash paper source. It's just a really fun feature on the Happier app this month. All right, Gretch, coming up, there is something I've been meaning to ask you, but first, this break. When you're hiring for your small business, you want to find quality professionals that are right for the role. That's why you have to check out LinkedIn Jobs. LinkedIn Jobs has the tools to help find the right professionals for your team faster and for free. LinkedIn isn't just another job board. LinkedIn has a vast network of more than a billion professionals, which makes it the best place to hire. It gives you access to professionals you can't find anywhere else. LinkedIn does all that while making making the process easy and intuitive. I know that when I've been hiring, it's really hard to do. It's really hard to find quality candidates. It's really hard to handle the process. Hiring is easy when you have lots of quality candidates, like with LinkedIn Jobs. It's so easy, in fact, that 86% of small businesses get a qualified candidate within 24 hours. Post your job for free at linkedin.com slash Gretchen. That's linkedin.com slash Gretchen to post your job for free. Terms and conditions apply. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. It can be easy to ignore our social battery and spread ourselves thin, especially with social gatherings picking up after the winter. Gretchen, you know I love to socialize, but... I need to do it in a way that's good for me, that doesn't drain my battery. And therapy can really help figure out what works for you, what doesn't work for you, so that you're not just spending out too much of your social energy. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapist anytime for no additional charge. Charge. Find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Gretchen Rubin today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Gretchen Rubin. This message is sponsored by Greenlight. When you're a parent, as we both are, you'll have your fair share of big talks with your kids. One of those big talks should involve money, and Greenlight can help with that. Greenlight is a debit card and money app made for families. You can send your kids instant money transfers, get real-time notifications of spending, manage chores, and automate allowance. Gretchen, we got green light for Jack, and I love that it teaches him financial independence. Mm. He can earn money from us by doing chores and then getting money deposited into his green light account. He can keep track of what he's spending. Millions of parents and kids use green light to learn how to make responsible financial choices. So stop putting off the money talk and start putting your kids on the right path. Sign up for green light today and get your first month free at greenlight.com slash happier. That's greenlight.com slash happier to try green light for free. Greenlight.com slash happier. All right, Gretch, I have been meaning to ask you about the eclipse because New York had, I think, like 90 percent yes. more than we had here in L.A. Tell me all about your eclipse experience. It feels very five senses. It was very five senses. Related. It was so much fun. Okay, so first of all, I want to give myself a huge gold star. I was very impressed with myself because... You know, you need glasses if you want to really see the eclipse. And uh, I couldn't get my hands on any. But then I realized in 2017, we were dropping Eliza off at college, which was super exciting. And there was the eclipse. And I had glasses. And I thought to myself, huh, I wonder if I kept those glasses like in her memento box because it was something about that drop-off weekend. So it was kind of a very important milestone weekend. 
And I looked in her box, and sure enough, there they were. They were in perfect shape, and I looked it up, and I could use them. So I was like, I'm really impressed. Not only did I keep them, but I found them. Like, I walked straight to them. So gold star for me. And it was super fun. I wanted to experience it with other people, so I went to Central Park, and it was so festive. There were so many people. There were, like, dogs and babies and, like, all these people. And everybody was just sort of chattering and laughing. And it was a gorgeous day. I mean, the magnolia blossoms, the daffodils, the mm. forsythia. I was like, Central Park is like, okay, this is my chance to shine to a lot of people that don't come here all the time. Like, I'm going to bring it. it was so beautiful. And the thing that was really fun So at 325, it was when it was like the totality where we were. It wasn't the total totality, but the totality press, the height of the eclipse was at 325 p.m. Everybody's got their glasses and everything. And then people started clapping. Oh, it was like that's nature. Cool. Exciting. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah, that's... it was very cool. And did it get dark? It didn't get dark, dark. It wasn't like nighttime, but it definitely changed. It was a very silvery light. It didn't look mm. like dusk. It looked different. It, it was a very, very kind of silvery grayed out light. Um, but you could still easily see, but you definitely knew that something was happening. What was surprising to me, and this is the five senses of it, is the temperature dropped noticeably. Mm. And like when it was nearing, when the sun was really getting the most obscured, it's like you could feel it dropping. You realize like, wow, wow. that heat is really pouring out of the sun. You could feel it getting colder and colder, and then you could feel it warming up. That was something that I didn't remember. I think the 2017 eclipse where I was wasn't as much. And I don't remember experiencing, maybe I did, I don't remember experiencing that. This this time it was quite remarkable. Well, Gretchen, I noticed my friend Gage, who's mm-hmm. a professor at Williams, went on a road trip with his son yeah. to get to totality. They were, yes. It was like totality or bus. Yes. So people actually... Yes. When, which is just so fun yes. to have a mission. You know, you always say it's fun to have a mission. A quest is more fun than a challenge. And I love seeing that. Yes. I was surprised. I said to somebody, I'm surprised this is such a bigger deal. Like, people seem to be taking this much more seriously. Like, you're reading about how it's like all these towns are benefiting from all these yes. unexpected tourists. And they're, they're just, like, worried. Like, there's not enough emergency room coverage for all these people. And I said to somebody, it didn't feel this big in 2017. I guess it's a much more dramatic eclipse than this one was um, in the United States. Well, Gretch, I'm embarrassed to say I did not get glasses. As it was about to happen, I was on the phone with Sarah. She had her glasses. We were trying to figure out. That's so Sarah. Yes, of course Sarah had glasses. And I'm like, how? what's the thing we did in school with the box? And she's like, do you have tinfoil? Um, she was trying to walk me through figuring out how to make like a, a thing hole. to watch it, yeah. which I did not do, but she uh, narrated it for okay, me. And Jack, great. at school, every they had glasses and all went out and looked at it. Oh. So he saw it. Well, and how much was it in Los Angeles? I'm not sure. I think maybe about 25 five percent so did the light change outside no it really didn't change Uh, the light from what i could tell but for sure if you had the glasses you could see something very cool yeah no with the glasses i could see just the sliver of the sun it really was remarkable and i read gretch that those glasses are a thousand times more protective than sunglasses really that's interesting so you don't want to look at it with sunglasses no 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 No, there was a kid who was, he wasn't looking right at the sun, but he was sort of flipping his glasses up and down. And then he started to kind of look up and I was like, hey, buddy, don't be looking at the sun. But I I think that message got shared. I feel like everywhere you looked for a couple of days, it's like, whatever you do, do not look directly into the sun. (laughs) Yes, indeed. Well, that's so fun. I love that you got to experience that. Yeah, it was really fun. Gretch, what's our quotation this week? This comes from Benjamin Franklin's The Autobiography of Benjamin Franklin, a book that I highly recommend, especially to anybody interested in doing their own happiness project. It's very much in that vein. He wrote, on the whole, though I never arrived at the perfection I had been so ambitious of obtaining, but fell far short of it. Yet as I was, by the endeavor, a better and happier man than I otherwise should have been had I not attempted it. Mm. So Lizzie, that is what I will say to you if you get to Orange Theory 42 by the end of 2024. (laughs) Because you will be a better and happier woman than you would have been had you not attempted it. Good point. Yes. 
So, Elizabeth, are you feeling more happier? I am more happier, Gretchen. Thank you to Chuck. Get in touch. Gretchen's on threads, TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram at Gretchen Rubin. And I'm on threads and Instagram at Liz Craft. Our email address is podcast at GretchenRubin.com. And for everything related to this episode, links, photos, and more, go to HappierCast.com. Bye, Gretch. Bye, Elizabeth. The best time to start a happiness project is 20 years ago. The second best time is now. So, Liza, do you think you'd ever do Orange Theory with a friend? Like, I know you like to go hiking with other people. Would you ever do this? Or you just want the freedom to go whenever it suits you and not try to coordinate? Probably don't want to try to coordinate it. I did tell a friend of mine I went and asked if she was interested. Yeah. But it's more like if the stars align yes. and we're there at the same time. Right. I don't think... It, coordinating is yes. tough. Coordinating so is I tough. I think it's a solo... And also, as I said, you don't really talk yes, during it. sure. So it's not as if you'd be right. having much of a social thing Right, happening. whereas the hiking in Framing Canyon is such a great way to connect with a yes. friend. Interesting. But I'll let you know. Yeah. From the Onward Project. I don't know about you, but I'm always looking for ways for my son to get involved and give back in our local community. That's why I'm excited to tell you about Student Visionaries of the Year, a campaign by Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, the largest nonprofit organization dedicated to creating a world without blood cancers. Student Visionaries of the Year is a seven-week philanthropic leadership development program for high school students. Participants form strong teams and fundraise in honor of a pediatric blood cancer survivor in their local community. This program is transformative. It not only helps students develop valuable life skills like project management, communication, financial literacy, and entrepreneurship, not to mention it looks great on college applications, but most importantly, is also a chance for them to engage in meaningful work within their community and make a real impact on blood cancer patients and their families. You can learn more about Student Visionaries of the Year or even nominate a student at lls.org students. That's lls.org students.